Hi everyone. I thought that today I might talk a little bit more about um, getting in good sleep since that's such an important part of our health. Um, both physically and mentally. So uh, I've been doing a little bit more research, um, partly just because that's one of my main goals this year is just to kind of get into better sleeping patterns. Um, so in my research, there's definitely a variety of tips that I wanted to share with you guys in case it's helpful for any of you. Now, in the context of setting goals and all that, I would just give my encouragement in the beginning to just shift a few of these things. Definitely do not feel any pressure to shift all of them, um, especially not at the same time. So you may just kind of want to hone in on um, two or three of the ones that you think are doable um, for you to work on and um, where you're more likely to kind of build in a good pattern with that. So a um, couple of things, you've probably heard this one before. But going to sleep and waking up at the same time um, every day is usually a good thing to do. It gets your body into a good rhythm and all of that. Now I know for me, I, I rarely do this. And so it's one of those things that I've really been working on at least six days a week. Um, but in the past, you know, I've always looked forward to, okay, when's the next time I get to sleep in? And for me, sleeping in is more so just not setting an alarm. Um, but getting into a good habit of going to sleep and waking up at the same time. Um, one thing you may want to consider instead of um, setting your alarm to wake up at the same time, you may actually want to set an alarm to go to sleep. Um, sometimes we just need that kind of reminder in the evenings to go ahead and start winding down and getting in bed and all of that. So that might be something that you try out. Um, a few other things, exercise no later than two to three hours before bed, um, either limit or even eliminate caffeine and nicotine um, if that's doable for you. Avoid alcohol right before bed. Um, one of those things is that a lot of times we think alcohol helps us sleep even better, but actually it's more of a sedative and so it we don't notice that we're not going into kind of a deeper sleep and getting in some REM cycles and all of that. Um, and also it could impact breathing. You could wake up in the middle of the night more, that kind of thing. If you're on any kind of medication that would delay or disrupt your sleep, maybe talk to your um, medical provider or your prescribing provider about um, if it's okay to alter what time of day that you take that medication, something like that. Um, some tips say to not nap after 3 p.m. in the day. Um, definitely get into a good ritual of relaxing before bed. Um, so I know a lot of times we end up scheduling our day just crazy back to back and just do different things like that. Um, but you may wanna go ahead and, for example, not schedule anything in your day past, say, 8 p.m. or so, and that way you can kind of develop some really good nighttime rituals to relax before bed. Um, another really cool thing is that um, having a drop in temperature is really helpful, and so taking a hot bath before bed and then also setting your room to a much cooler temperature um, can be helpful. Um, try and have kind of a dark room that you sleep in, preferably gadget-free. Uh, I know I am not there yet, um, however, um, on your on many gadgets you can set the um gosh I don't even know what it's called but it's kind of like the orange light background or if it's more of a yellow light background instead of those blue LEDs um, you could try out that um, just making sure you have a comfortable mattress and pillow um, if there's a kind of a digital clock in your room maybe face it away from you um, it's good to have some sunlight exposure throughout the day, so just outside natural sunlight at least 30 minutes a day or so. Um, and also try and wake up when the sun comes up or just have bright lights in the morning. I know one thing I've been working on to try and have a little bit of an easier time waking up every day at the same time is um, I have a lamp on my nightstand that is set to some kind of Wi-Fi timer and um, my husband's kind of the tech person, so I don't even know what it is, some kind of smart plug or something. And so. So when my um, alarm goes off in the morning, my lamp also comes on and um, I found that to be much more helpful. Um, and then also um, try not to lie in bed awake for more than 20 minutes and if you do just go ahead and get up and do um, some kind of relaxing activity so I hope that some of these tips were helpful just to give you guys a few ideas I know I'm trying out a few of them myself so um, here's to kind of some good healthy habits overall 